Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Today I show you this piece of plastic. Ha! Just kidding. This is of course the lighthouse faceplate for the Pimax crystal. Finally I have this one and I will show you how, uh, how to assemble that, how to set up and of course how the tracking then is with the lighthouse. Thank you to my sponsors Vultus VR, Open Man Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys and let's check out how that looks. It's just this plastic piece but it's the front cover and when you look at the back, look at this. Here's the connector. Yeah, with the, there's a chip under that plate and here you can see all the lighthouse sensors. Yeah, see that here? Some cables and stuff. And yeah, that's the front cover. So let's get the Pimax crystal and perhaps not everybody knew that but you can just remove the front cover of the Pimax crystal and here that's how it looks without the cover and here is the connector. So let's get the face plate here, put it in the right way and then just click, 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 click and that's it. This is how it looks. Yeah. It, the, the front is a little bit different, it's more, it it's reflects more than this. Yeah, you see that? And yeah. So that's how you assemble it. It's very easy. Just rip it off. <laughs> Careful of course. And yeah, let's check out how that now in the software looks. Okay guys, and when you connect it and assembled everything right, it should look like this here. Yeah. So normally here you see the headset, but now it switched to base stations and you can see the two base stations. By the way, I'm using the 1.0 base stations from the old Y from 2016 and it still works without any problems. So when you go to device settings, here you can see there is a switch now from lighthouse to inside out tracking. So you can uh, change that whatever you like. But of course, if you have the lighthouse uh, module, you should use that because it's much more precise. And yeah, then you can go for set pair. And as you can see here, you can choose between Vive controllers, index controllers. So what I use are the index controllers, of course, but you can even do full body tracking with the Vive trackers or Tundra trackers also. Just choose that one. And of course the uh, sort controllers by Pimax. You can go for everything. And that's really very interesting. So perhaps there will be a firmware update and a software update when you connect the Lighthouse module, do that. And I had absolutely no problems. That's really cool. I ripped off the old module, put on the, the new module and it works without any problems. And that's fine. Uh, really cool. And then you go, go for start Steam VR. And now I will show you a tracking test with rec room in front of a mirror. Let's see that. Okay guys, welcome to a tracking test. So here we are in rec room. That's my test always. And yeah, as you can see, we have very direct and tracking without any legs or any delay or something like we know that from uh, every uh, lighthouse system. Look at this, just very precise. No problem at all. You can even hold it in front of each other. There is no problem. It's ultra precise, very direct. And the big difference to all the other controllers with uh, camera tracking uh, from the headset. Look at this. I can hold my hands behind my back and it's still tracked. Yeah, it's still tracked with, w w behind my head. This will never work with the other controllers. Uh, look at this. It's tracked everywhere. Can even scratch my ass and it still works. Ha! <laughs> so, guys, yeah, if you want very precise tracking uh, for, for shooters or stuff, competitive shooters like Onward or so, this is really impressive. It's perfect tracking without any problems at all. Yeah, so let's go back to the studio. Okay, guys, so, yeah, let's come to a conclusion. It works like I expected, it works perfect. There's absolutely perfect tracking with the Lighthouse module and uh, I'm really happy that it's also worked in the setup with the software. Normally sometimes Pimax has uh, some problems there, you know that, but this time it works without any problems. It was recognized, no tracking issues 
and really awesome. So how can you get it? You get, go to the uh, homepage and then here you can uh, buy it um, with the, the Pimax Crystal if you like and also with the base stations and the controllers if you like. Yeah? Um, so I already have the base stations and the Pimax, uh, um, uh, sorry, the, the index controllers uh, so I don't need uh, that package here. Um, so if you already have the base stations 1.0 or 2.0 you can use them. Uh, you can use all the equipment from Lighthouse that's really cool. Uh, and yeah, so now the Pimax, I mean the Pimax Crystal was e e even very good without that, but with the Lighthouse module, now you have a really perfect VR headset with an awesome display and perfect tracking. Of course, it's very expensive if you need everything. If you need the base stations, the controllers, the headset and the faceplate, it's very expensive. But um, then you, you really have a high end and stuff. Yeah, it's really high end. It has eye tracking, uh, auto IPD and all the stuff what you need uh, in one headset. Of course, it's not light. You cannot compare it to the big screen beyond, but it has a bigger feed of view, of course. And uh, I, I definitely recommend this headset even more now with the, with the index. Uh, controllers and the faceplate. So guys, please don't forget to go via my link and use my coupon code VoodooDE to get $20 off and you can also use the Voodoo10 uh, coupon code uh, for $10 off the faceplate. You can check everything in the description and the first pin comment. Really nice. So I'm happy about that. I hope you liked the video. If yes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo